Movie Night on the Deuce, uh, Perfect Storm. That's a good one. I saw that on the big screen. Yeah, that was a good movie. Dial it in tonight. Right. How would one dial it in? How would you know, physically do you that? Don't, don't touch that dial. I mean, uh, there's no, no one of you seen a dial. Well, your TV has a dial. Oh, God. It's got an old TV. I don't. Oh. Can we can <laughs> Yeah, I let's go. Let's go. We'll Thank talk you. about this later. Let's talk about the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria, inviting you to be nosy. It's annual house tour. It's a chance for you to take a look behind the doors of a handful of the capital's most interesting homes, including a Rockland mansion designed by Samuel McClure in 1896. All the ornateness of it, not necessarily my taste, but once I got inside, I sort of got over the outside. Can we go inside? Of course, absolutely. And that's the front door. There. That's the front entrance. That's the entrance hall, and this is the living room. So when you walked in, what I mean, what does this feel like to you to live here? It um, feels pretty spe special. Probably very eclectic. I love modern because I love all different sort of types of design. I try to incorporate all of it, right? And of course, I love art. And this? This is the dining room. The high ceilings. The high ceilings are gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. And the fabulous windows and all the arches. And well, he house. usually builds very masculine houses, a lot of wood paneling, so that hunting lodge type of feeling, right? And with this, with all the round and the windows, um, it's much more feminine design. This house on St. Charles features nine rooms over 3,600 square feet, and it is one of six houses on the Art Gallery's self-guided tour, which also includes stops in the neighborhoods of Oak Bay, Fairfield, and Ten Mile Point. We also have some literally brand new moved in a month ago houses, and we have some brand new that are starkly modern, absolute contrast to this house. Um, and it's getting ideas. I mean, we're constantly, we're house people these days, and we want to see what we can do with our houses, how we can change them, how we can mix old and new. This fundraiser for the Art Gallery of Greater Victoria will also feature professional flower displays and artists painting on site. Upstairs, here we go. All the stairs were all replaced. This is a landing, probably a little lady sitting room, but I seem to really like naked women in particular. There's, they're all over the house. Maybe something to do with my last life or something, I don't know. Look at the tub. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Made in South Africa. We gutted the whole room, we took out the floor, we took out the ceiling, we took, you could see outside the walls, and then I started to put it all back together. This is? The master bedroom. Even though it's an old house, I don't like it fussy. I don't like a lot of knickknacks and I don't like a lot. Of, I like big sort of statement pieces and just leave it at that. But just mix it up. I think if you buy what you love, it all works. And thank you so much to Linda Hardwig for opening up her home to us this afternoon and uh, to the art gallery as well. The fundraising house tour is this Sunday. You can find full details on how to get tickets in advance at aggv.ca. Tickets will also be available at each home. Well, one of Canada's uh, most beloved Roots bands is back together. Tonight, the Bills are celebrating the release of their new album eight years after they put out their last one. We've all kind of spread out to some of us live, uh, one of us lives in, on Hornby Island, and you know, some people were in Winnipeg and even India for a while, and <laughs> one of the bass players was off in, in, you know, in Berlin, so it yeah, got kind of spread out there for a while. The members of the Juno-nominated quintet ended up uh, living far apart after spending four years touring with their previous album, performing up to 200 shows a year. Some of the musicians also took time to focus on having kids. The new album is called Yes Please and features the Bill's unique blend of traditional music from around the world. You know, there's a lot of roots music, you know, a, a tint of bluegrass, some jazz. Uh a few Eastern European kind of flavors, and it's a lot of variety, which pleases us and our audience. My mom says it's great. <laughs> My mom loves it too. Yeah. <laughs> the Bill's CD release party is tonight at Victoria's Alex Golden Hall. That's followed by a Canadian tour, which includes a stop in Vancouver and on Main Island. You can find full details at thebills.ca. And finally this hour, a pup who's overcoming blindness to pursue her passion for painting. I am amazed every time she paints. I mean, she can't see the paper. She, you'll notice that she'll put her paw out, and she's only done that since she's been blind, so I'm guessing she's trying to feel for the paper, but of course her leg is shorter than her nose, so she can't reach it. Hallie lives with an autoimmune disease that attacks the retina. Her owner says that the, the uh, dog cried for the first three months that she was blind, but she stopped when she started painting. Good girl. <laughs> 
Yeah, good girl. I would say if you have a disabled dog, keep taking them out and doing what they like to do because they, they aren't ready to quit. I think we're the ones that feel like we need to protect them. Hallie now sells her paintings with all the money going to a dog rescue charity. Fantastic. Isn't it? I like that. Uh, I'm sorry I teased you about your TV. By the way, we've, got a, we've hooked up a live uh, feed from your living room. Do we have that? There, there it is. <laughs> my, that's not my TV. And even if it was, that would be fine. That's a nice TV. That looks, like, a, a, looks like our TV. That's it's a great TV. TV. My TV's eight years old. Yeah, There's know. nothing wrong with it. <laughs> All right, Sparky, thank you. <laughs> I think we've revealed something about your personality this evening. I think, you, I think maybe we have. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we're back with more uh, CTV News at 6 is next.